There, my name's Leo Birch, and I'm from Leo Birch Computer Training. And today I'm going to show you how to create an anchor link in Weebly. Now we can use anchor links to jump from one part of the page to another. So we can see this website here. If I use an anchor link correctly, I can click on Our Clients, and the page will automatically jump down to the Our Clients part here. I haven't finished this yet, but I'm going to show you how to do it in a few simple steps. So let's go back to the Weebly page editor. The first thing we have to do is put in our anchor link. Now that goes in at the bottom of the page, right where you want the page to scroll to automatically. Now to do this, we have to go over to the left hand side, and you see the embed code element? I need to drag that over here, let go of it in the correct position. And where it says click to set custom HTML, I click on there, then I click edit custom HTML. And this is the HTML code that we can use. Now you can copy this code, but the part of the code that changes is this little bit here in the inverted commas. So you can put whatever you like. Uh, in this case, I'm just going to put OC, or to be sure, I can put our clients. That's all good, that's ready to go. So the code is fine. Now I have to go up to the top of the page. And now I have to create the anchor link. So the anchor link is going to be here. But before I do that, I need to copy a certain URL. So I go to the published web page. I click in the URL. I copy it. Now I select our clients. Click on the create link go to website URL, paste the link in here. Now the important thing is at the end of the URL here I have to put hashtag our clients and this will link it to the correct part of the website. Untick this box, click away I'll just undo that. I need to get rid of that there because sometimes that happens with Weebly. You get little glitches. So I'll just repeat the process again. Our clients. I'll try clicking underneath. There we go. That's worked. So now to test it, I'll just click on publish. I click on the URL up here. Now if I scroll down, if it's been done correctly, if I click on our clients, it should jump down to our clients at the bottom of this page. And you can see it's actually gone down to our clients, but it's opened in a new tab. So I don't want that. I have to go back here up to Edit that again. Uh, untick the box. That's the key that I missed there. Now we'll republish. Click on the link. Get rid of these unnecessary tabs. Go down here to our clients. And boom, it's dropped down. And you can do that to link to any part of your web page. Okay, so I hope you've enjoyed this tutorial. I hope it's been useful. And stay tuned for even more. Bye for now.